Hey, this is Presh Tullwalker. We have the following word problem with the following diagram that is not to scale. Triangle ABC has AB equal to 10, BC equal to 10, AC equal to 10 root 2. The triangle is folded so that point A falls on the midpoint M of BC. The crease endpoints PQ are along sides AB and AC respectively. What is the length of the crease PQ? I thank Ashish for the suggestion. Pause the video if you'd like to give this problem a try. And when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. Triangle ABC has AB equal to 10, BC equal to 10, and AC equal to 10 root 2. We first observe that AB squared plus BC squared is equal to AC squared, and that means ABC is a right triangle with hypotenuse AC. So we will sketch a right triangle ABC with hypotenuse AC. The triangle is folded so that point A falls on the midpoint M of BC. So we will imagine making a crease here so that this triangle gets folded over the crease and it results so that A ends up at point M, which is the midpoint of BC. So that upper triangle gets folded down over the crease. The crease has endpoints P and Q alongside AB and AC. So the crease will be P and Q. We now need to figure out the length of the crease PQ. So how do we do that? There are many ways to solve this problem. In this video, I will illustrate a solution with coordinate geometry. There are many, many reasons to use coordinate geometry. One reason is that it's vital for making computer graphics or animation. It's definitely a skill you want to learn. Number two, coordinate geometry connects geometry and algebra. So you can use the problem solving techniques of algebra to figure out geometry problems. Three, it's useful in advanced mathematics. Many times you need a coordinate system so that it will help you understand the structure of a shape. Finally, it's a powerful problem solving technique. You just put in coordinates and you can kind of plug and chug and just hack your way into the answer. That's what I'm going to illustrate in this question. So we'll start out with a coordinate system where B is at 0, 0. Since AB is equal to 10, point A is at 0, 10. Since BC is equal to 10, C is going to be at 10, 0. Now M is the midpoint of BC, so it's at 5, 0. Now since we have folded A along the crease PQ, resulting in the midpoint M, we must have that AP is equal to PM. This is exactly AP being folded over PQ. We don't know the coordinates of P, but we know that its x coordinate is equal to zero. So let's just say P has coordinates of zero comma P. We can now use algebra to figure out the value of P. Now the length of AP is equal to 10 minus P. The length of PM we can figure out using the distance formula. We take the square root of the square of the difference in x coordinates plus the square of the difference of the y coordinates. So we have the square root of the square of 0 minus 5 plus the square of p minus 0. We just simplify this now. We can square both sides. Then we can square the binomial on the left. We cancel out the p squared terms. We put the constant terms on one side and the p on the other side. So we have 20p is equal to 75. And that gives us p is equal to 15 over 4. And almost like magic, we figured out the coordinates of point p. Now all we need to do is figure out the coordinates of point q. This will be a little bit trickier. Now since we folded about the crease pq, we know that aq is equal to qm. But we don't know the coordinates of q. But we do know that q is along the line aqc. So let's figure out the equation for the line aqc. 
We'll use the slope intercept formula, y is equal to mx plus b, where m is the slope and b is the y intercept. Now we already know the y intercept is equal to 10, so b is equal to 10. We know that c is at 10 comma 0, so we could figure out the slope between these two points. So it will be the change in y coordinates divided by the change in x coordinates. So we have 0 minus 10 divided by 10 minus 0. That will be equal to negative 1. So we have the equation y is equal to negative x plus 10. So suppose that point q has an x coordinate equal to q, then the y coordinate will be equal to negative q plus 10. So now all that remains is to solve for q. We can do that because we know that aq is equal to qm in length. Now rather than working with square roots on both sides, we can work with the square distances. So we have the square of the length of aq is equal to the square of the length of qm. So we substitute these into the distance formula and squaring both sides. Now we just carefully simplify. We can eliminate terms and we get that q is equal to 25 over 6. That's the x-coordinate. The y-coordinate will be negative q plus 10. So that equals 35 over 6. So we figured out the coordinates of point q. We need to know the length of the crease pq. So we just want to figure out the length of pq. But we know the coordinates of p are 0, 15 over 4. And we know the coordinates of q are 25 over 6 and 35 over 6. So we just apply the distance formula. It'll be the square root of the square of 25 over 6 plus the square of 35 over 6 minus 15 over 4. I will spare all the details right here of squaring, finding a common denominator, and then finding all of the simplifications. We end up with the result of 25 root 5 divided by 12, and that's approximately equal to 4.658. And almost like magic, we figured out the answer with coordinate geometry. Wow. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems one video at a time.